Uh, let me introduce uh, for you the THSC Board of Directors. Uh, these are the folks that helped him uh, with raising money, with running events, the convention, uh, and, and running the organization. So as I stand, uh, if you, or excuse me, if I say your name, you stand, and then we'll applaud you at the end. Uh, Miss Donna Harp, Ray Van Norman, uh, Gavino Perez, Sarah Singleton, Nathan Macias, and Doug Barch. The folks for literally from all over the state that have worked with THSC for a long time. So we also have uh, two folks, uh, two attorneys that work with us uh, on different issues. Uh, we have Chris Branson is our THSC special counsel for CPS issues. Where's Chris? There's Chris. Chris, appreciate the work that you do. Yeah, and apparently some of y'all appreciate that as well. And THSC Special Counsel for Custody Issues, Maureen Ball. Where's Maureen? Okay, we'll, we'll I don't see that. All right, uh, we also have uh, some elected officials here, quite a few elected officials. Uh, we have one of the hardest working guys in the Texas legislature, and no, I'm not talking about myself, I'm talking about Representative Mike Schofield. Stand up, Mike. So if, you, if y'all are in Katy, uh, he's actually in a tough race. We need to make sure to go out and vote for him. Uh, we also have Valerie Swanson. Where's Valerie? There's Valerie. I'm sorry. No, Valerie. And we have Briscoe Kane is here as well. Where's Briscoe? There's Briscoe. All right. Uh, we have the Honorable Judge John Devine. Where is he? Yeah. Really nice guy. Have Justice Justice Brett Busby. There's Brett. There we go. Judge John Schmoody. There's John. There's Judge Schmoody. And Judge Michelle Slaughter. All right. And we have a couple of celebrity guests that I'm going to go find in the audience. We're going to do a couple jokes. Mike Schofield told me I don't do jokes very well. So after these jokes, I want you to tell me whether we did these well. So um, where, where is Sid Miller, Agriculture Commissioner? All right. There you go, Sid Miller. Y'all can give him a hand. All right. All right. Now, now you were one of the early Trump supporters. You were, on, you were early. And uh, we had, we had uh, Senator Cruz. What's that? Trump's man in Texas. So, uh, and we had him actually in Wichita Falls a couple, uh, about two weeks ago. We had Trump Jr. and Ted Cruz. And Trump Jr. told me something I was surprised about because, you know, a lot of things are going well in the economy. Unemployment is down. A lot of things are going well. And, and one of the things Trump's been known for is he's actually fulfilled his promises. But Trump Jr. said there was one campaign promise that Trump made that he hasn't uh, fulfilled. Do you have any? That he, I'm sorry. He actually said that he lied about. He said there was a campaign promise that his dad made that he lied about. See if you can remember most, what. For the most part. You need that. For the most part, it, for the most part his promise is made and promise is kept. But, but there is one I'm a little upset about. He said we'd get tired of winning. I am not getting tired of winning. Anybody else getting tired of winning? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And where is Commissioner Wayne Christian? There he is. All right. Now, at that, this is, I gave you a math problem last year. We did homeschooling. We're going a little political this year because it's, it's that time. But I gave you a math problem. I don't know if you remember last year, but this is another math problem. At the campaign event, we had 1,400, you got it, 1,400 people there to see Cruz and Trump Jr. There were 10 people outside with pickets. There were 10 people outside with pickets. And there were 15 reporters in the back. How many protesters were there? 25. There were 25 protesters. 25 pro there were 25 protesters. There was uh, 10 protesters and 15 of the line press. There you go. So there were 25 protesters. All right. And, and Mike, you may, you may be right, but you're going to get the last one, and I'll see if you can do it. OK. Chuck, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris, everybody knows Chuck Norris jokes. If you homeschool, your kids tell Chuck Norris jokes. Um, Chuck Norris and Superman 
had a battle to see who, would, to see who could defeat each other. And there was a bet that the loser had to do. What was that bet? The loser had to wear their underwear on the outside of their pants. <laughs> All right, you may not think that's very dignified of me to do that, so I apologize. <laughs> Mike, you did do that better than I did, so. Next, I, I, think, I think I know who's going to be the MC next year. <laughs> um, just a couple of announcements. Again, the silent auction closes at 8.30. We're about to start the Facebook Live. Uh, and now before uh, Ken Paxton comes, uh, we're going to do some special award recognitions. And again, uh, I'd ask you to stand and then we're going to give these folks an applause. Uh, this is speech and debate winners. So the first place, speech and debate winners, please stand as I call your name and hold your applause to the end. Uh, Miss Sarah Kingsbury, Miss McKenna Schlitz, Schultz, and Katie Spake. If y'all would help me congratulate those ladies. All right. One of the things we also have is we have a number of homeschool, you know, THSC is a statewide organization that does uh, a lot of different things that you're hearing about tonight. But we also have local support groups throughout, you know, obviously throughout Houston, but all throughout the state. Uh, if you're one of the local homeschool leaders, if y'all would stand and let us give you an applause, y'all would stand. You're a local support leader. Go ahead. All right, last, last but not least, one of the things that Tim does, uh, or THSC does, is vet, uh, particularly the judicial races, but all of the races. And trust me, you want to be on the good side of the vetting, am I right? You want, to be, you want to be on the good side of the vetting. If you're one of the members, there's 15 people that are part of the THSC vetting committee that does that work, if you would stand and let us say thank you. You're the vetting committee member. There we go.